In this video, I'm going to talk about one surefire way to increase the speed of your website, and that's going to be through image compression. And technically, this is kind of an update video. One of the first early videos on this channel, I talked about this topic, and whoa, has so much changed since then. Everything's gotten better, easier in every single way. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorials for non-techies. And if you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss a thing, click on the little bell. Anything I talk about will be linked in the video description box down below. We're talking about image compression right now and that is going to make the size of the images that you upload to your website a lot smaller. Now, what you may or may not realize is when you upload an image, there's tons of details in there that really doesn't come out when someone watches or views your website. There's a lot of details in there that can be kind of shaved down a bit to make the size of the image smaller. Therefore, when someone visits your page, it has to require less downloading of content from your web host. And this is what makes it faster. Now, when I made that video, uh, sheesh, it might have been two and a half years ago now. It was basically, this was the only service available, Kraken.io, and I pretty much made it about this. Now, there are desktop application tools that you can run your image through, but they're not as good as, and they're definitely not as convenient as the services that I'm going to show you in this video. I forgot, and I wanted to say this early on, you can get this all done for free, so don't think that this is something that's going to cost you, uh, but it's going to be massive, huge benefits. So this was what I made that video on Kraken, and they did have a web a WordPress plugin that automated things, but it was uh, you had to have the paid service. I was showed basically people how to use the free web interface right here, and you and actually this is how I compressed my images for maybe two or three years when this was really the only show in town. But since then there. There are many, many ways to do this. So if you go to WordPress.org and you do a search for image compress compression, you're going to see all these options. Some are good and there's a few that probably aren't that good. So I'm going to go over a couple of them that I have personal experience with in this video. So the first one that you see is Smush. Now Smush used to, I think the history is that it used to be owned by Yahoo and then Yahoo abandoned it. And then WPMU Dev picked it up and they have this free version, but you, you don't want to use it. Let me just get that out there right now. This is one of those models where you get the plugin. It doesn't give you the full benefits of image compression unless you pay, I think it's like 500 bucks a year, which is insane if you just want image compression. So I would definitely urge you to avoid smush. It will compress your images, but it won't nearly do as good of a job as the other tools because there's different levels of compression. So that is one of them. Uh, here is, you can see it's it's been in, downloaded a ton of times, but don't look at that and say, huh, uh, this is the best. It's been downloaded a ton of times because this was really the first plugin that did this. Most of this, these installations were before uh, it was taken over by WPMU Dev and they put a really high price tag on it. So this is definitely one to skip. I have personally used it, but there's better stuff out there right now. Next, I want to talk about what's currently on my website and it's image of Phi image optimizer. Now what's nice about this is it's actually built by the same folks that make WP rocket, which is by far, in my opinion, the best WordPress caching plugin that you can get for your website. It happens to be what I use on all of my websites. Now what you're going to see, all these plugins have a business model behind it. So what happens is the compression doesn't happen on your web hosting account. The images gets pushed to their servers where all the magic happens and then the optimized image gets sent back. You really don't want the compression happening on your servers. Uh, it's just not a good thing. So. All of these are kind of software and services. Now you're going to see they have free tiers. And I want to say that Imageify 
probably in my opinion has the most generous free tier that is going to probably cover the vast majority of people that have a WordPress based website. So essentially what they're going to give you, I think it's 30 megabytes of image compression per month. Uh, I'll have to double check on that. I forget. I have been using this and it's actually on W up oh, here. It is 25 megabytes of images per month for free that they're going to compress. So if you put this on your website, anything in the future, what happens when you upload the image, it's just going to compress it for you and it's going to start chipping away at that amount right there, the 25 megabytes. So this is Imageify. They do have plans. If you want more uh, capacity, more compressions, so you can subscribe to a monthly plan or you can make a one-time payment. So this is Imageify. I've been using it. It is fantastic. And I would really say that the vast majority of people, all you need to do is install Imageify and let it do its work. Now what's going to happen when you download it, you're going to set it to actually I'll, I'll download it in this video and, and just show you. Next, I want to show you short pixel. There's a reason why I'm showing you short pixel right now. Number one, they're actually pretty fantastic. Just like Imageify, you're all of these, uh, Imageify and short pickles, pixels, the ones that <laughs> I can't believe I just said short pickles. No, it's short pixel, not short pixels or pickles. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, short pixel. Uh, all of these uh, services, they... <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even believe I totally lost my train of thought after saying short pickle. Anyways, short pixel. Uh, there's a reason why I'm talking about short pixel. Pixel, and that's because there's a uh, special deal going on with it right now. Now they have a free tier as well. I'm going to install this and show you this in this video as well. Maybe I just need to slow down. I'm talking a little too fast today. Uh, so what they do is they are going to let. Where is it? Come on, show me your uh, limitation here. I think it's a hundred. Actually, here, let me just go to their website. All right, they give you a hundred free image compressions per month. It's not the size of the images. It's the quantity of images. So that's how Imageify is going to be different than short pixel. Now, the problem, the reason why I don't like this way of charging is because 100 free images, what people don't realize is when you upload an image to WordPress, depending on your theme and your plugins, WordPress makes like 10 different versions of it. It might be five versions, it might be 15 versions, it might be 10 versions, but multiple versions of an image based on different sizes are going to be created. So when you, when you upload your image, all of those versions are going to be counted against this. So you might be thinking a hundred images, but it's really, it's, it's so say every time you upload an image, WordPress makes 10 versions of it. It's really only 10 images per month on how you experience images. So I kind of don't like that, but right now, there is a limited deal going on on AppSumo for short pixel size matters. And uh, right here at the time I'm making this recording, there's only 2,500 of them left. So essentially for 25 bucks, not per month, just 25 bucks, a lifetime account, you're going to get access to the short plan. Um, 5,000 images per month. And it's five bucks a month if you were to buy it straight on their websites. You can use this on multiple websites, by the way. None of these are locked into one website. You can use it if you have clients, use it on theirs and all that kind of stuff. So uh, right here, you're getting 5,000 images. And instead of paying five bucks a month, you're just paying 25 bucks and you have a lifetime account. Now, what's also nice is I think this deal is stackable. So if 5,000 wasn't enough and you wanted 10,000, you can buy two of these and stack it together. AppSumo a lot of times has as these stacking options. Uh, I think it says right here, stack codes to increase limits on a single account. All right, 
let's go ahead and install some of these options here. So first I want to install and show you Imageify and just show you the settings panel. So I'm going to go to plugins, add new. All these plugins are in the WordPress repository. So you can just go to plugins, add new and do a quick search and it will come right up. So here's Imageify and you know, they got 90,000 installations. One of those is wpcrafter.com. However, I do kind of like the idea of having a uh, larger allocations of images with short pixels. So I'm probably going to pick that up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on activate. Now all of these, since it's a software as a service, they're going to kind of make you sign up on their website to get something called an API key. So you can see with Imageify, right when I activate it, it shows me these three steps right here. So first I need to click here to sign up and get an account. And then I'm going to get an API key. I'm going to click here to cop, uh, to put it in the plugin and then start configuring things. So let me go ahead and see if it'll let me go to settings without that. Cause I don't want to do that in this video. It'll just take up too much time. Okay. It's not letting me do that. So I'm going to create an account real quick. All right. I actually just logged into my existing account. Uh, so you can actually see my usage right here on the top, right? It shows I've used 17 megabytes this period. And remember I was saying that what happens is you get the 25 megabytes and it's going to be good for most people. So you can see I have that, but I also have an allocation of 525. Actually it's saying that's how much I've used 525 megabytes since I've had it. That's pretty huge. So I just need to click on API integration and here is my API. So I'm going to copy that into my clipboard and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste that in and now I'm going to click on save changes. And so what's it's going to do is it's going to take my API and it's going to check it. And so here I am with these settings. So all of these are going to have these optimization level settings. And so there's normal, this is normal optimization is what you're going to get with WP smush aggressive is going to, um, it's going to not even be noticeable to the naked eye. Ultra though with them is it, there is a little bit of pixel pixelation that's going to happen. I've personally noticed. So I think play it safe and go aggressive on it. And then you have these other options right here to auto optimize images on upload. So right when you upload your image, bam, it's going to optimize it. So when you uh, upload, there might be a little bit of a momentary slowdown because now WordPress is taking your image, sending it to their server. It's getting optimized and coming back. There might be a little bit of a slowdown there. Backup original images. This would be wise to do. Now here's an interesting option, but could be dangerous resize larger images one thing people do is say you want a background hero image and you see this cool uh, landscape picture on a stock photography website and you download it and you don't change the name you don't change the size you're just uploading that sucker right into wordpress well, what happens is it's about the 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 size the dimensions of the image are usually about three times or four times larger than you actually need and of course it's like three or four megabytes in size and it's going to kill the speed of your website. You could probably be safe to enable this resize larger images. So typically what I do is when I have a hero background image, I usually resize it to 1800 pixels wide. So you could be safe in doing that, putting in 1600. So if you put uh, upload an image that's three times the size, bam, not only is it going to change the way the image looks to make it smaller, it's also going to reduce the, the physical size of the image. Both are actually good. Um, right here is XF data. You actually want to, to have that stripped out. If you take a picture with your iPhone, it puts this X, X if I'm saying it wrong data in there like coordinates to from where the picture was taken you probably for privacy reasons do not want that in there uh, if you check this it'll keep it uh, so it's up to you now this is one of the things I like about Imageify is right here you can choose which images that your WordPress theme and plugin are making versions of that you want to optimize. So right here you can see this site that I installed this on makes a thumbnail image with these dimensions and all of these other ones. So I'm going to leave those checked, but that's what I was talking about when I was talking about the short pixel.
Okay, and here if you wanted to have it in the admin bar, I usually uncheck that because I don't like it. And then you could just go to save changes. And then what you would want to do is go to the bulk alt, op, uh, optimizer. It's going to look at your entire media library and start optimizing them all based upon what you put in here. And it's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to save changes because I don't actually want to do that. Uh, but what you could do is you can easily, let's see. So if I go to media, now we have this bulk optimization option there and that's the imageify right here and I can literally imageify them all click this button bam it's gonna go through every image and it's gonna go ahead and compress them oh I'm actually seeing another limitation of the free version here it says all images greater than two megabytes you have to have a paid plan so if you're gonna use imageify just make sure if you're uploading an image it's under two megabytes or just manually reduce the dimensions to get it under two megabytes I didn't actually realize that but you really shouldn't be uploading images larger than two megabytes anyway all right I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate this and I'm gonna install the short pixel I actually should have an API for them as well because I did use them in the past so I'm gonna go to plugins add new and I'll search for it here it is and they are right behind imageify with 50,000 active installations Let's go ahead and install and activate short pixel and see what the onboarding experience is like for that. So just like Imageify, it puts its own settings panel in the back end right there underneath settings. And it's also underneath media going to add the bulk, oops, there it is, bulk short pixel. So that's where you would go and uh, archive everything from the past. So. Let's see, so it's saying here, if you don't have an API key, okay, I'll, I'll put it, uh, that email doesn't actually go to me, but let's request an API key. I'm unfortunately thinking, oh, there it is. It just popped an API key in there and I can just go ahead and click on validate. That is actually a lot easier than it is with Imageify. With Imageify, you have to go to their website and do a bunch of things. But with ShortPixel, I didn't have to leave the, the plugin. I really like that a lot. All right, so here is uh, the different compression options. So we have lossy, glossy, and lossless. So they're recommending using lossy, and I recommend that as well. It's gonna be the highest compression. If you're looking under the image under a microscope, you're gonna see some minor, uh, you might see some minor things, but it'd be really hard to point out or to notice with the naked eye. So they don't have that ultra setting that you saw in Imageify with the old, but I, but I, I will tell you that old, that ultra option will deteriorate the, the visual quality of your images. I've, I've seen that from personal experience. So we're going to go with lossy also include thumbnails. Okay. So thumbnails. So you saw with the other plugin, it was showing you all the different variations and you can choose this. It doesn't show you them individually. It just says, do you want to optimize those thumbnails? We will definitely have to say yes. Image backup. That's cool. Remove EXIF. We want to do that. Here's that same setting, resize larger images. I do think this is good to do. Um, you probably wouldn't want this option. You would probably want this option right here. And you might want to put in like 1600 or something like that. Actually, you have to be careful with this setting. I think this is right, right here. Um, but we'll definitely want to read more. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the advanced settings here. So there's additional media folders. Wow, I'm already seeing a ton more options in short pixel that I really wasn't aware was here that will give you more fine control over how your images are actually optimized. So it actually will convert PNG to JPEG. That's actually very good unless it's something that you need transparency. Oh, and it says right here with transparency will not be converted. Oh my gosh. Okay. WebP versions. Wow. This is amazing. Optimize retina images optimize PDFs. Wow, this does a whole lot more than what I just saw on Imageify. Okay, and here's that uh, optimize it when you uploaded. Wow, that's pretty amazing. What's this process in front end? Oh, uh, this is if a user uploads an image. So for me on my website, I have a user form. And if someone uploads an image, here's your stats. 
here's your resources. Okay, so this is a little affiliate links, uh, which is fine. All right, but it's fine just because it's hidden. I think it's kind of tacky though. Uh, anyways, so then we would just go here to media and bulk short pixel. And right here, we can go ahead and click this button here. Now, remember I was saying that you have these multiple versions of images on your website. So it says right here on my website, I only have 37 images, but there's 52 thumbnails that were created based upon those images. And so if I click on here, it's gonna start optimizing 89 images, even though I have 37. So that's how that whole thing works where you have these thumbnail images. So I'm not gonna actually do this right now, but I do wanna go back here and say, you know what, I actually think I'm gonna buy this because I do wanna have more control over how my images get optimized. Uh, 25 bucks, that's actually a really good deal considering I can use this on client websites or multiple websites. So, so if you wanna check this out, just go to wpcrafter.com slash short pixel and if you've used any of these solutions i'd like to hear from your experience in the comment section down below like i said all three of the ones i talked about actually i talked about four i showed you kraken i've personally used them all for extended periods of time the only thing i didn't like about short pixel was the small like the it was very limited only 100 images a month but for this I like to to have the additional control over what gets optimized. So for me, I think it would be absolutely worth it. So these are the options for you. I think most people are gonna be fine with Imageify. Uh, if you want more control and you want uh, more images that you can compress if you uh, have clients and stuff like that, uh, this is probably going to be a better bet for you going with this short pixel, whether there's still any available or not uh, going this route. I think I'm going to pick up one. I don't think I need to. I'll probably pick up one of these. 5,000 images per month is probably uh, a sweet spot for me and what I need. So share your experiences in the comment section down below. Sorry for making this video long. I hope you got a couple laughs and giggles out of it for my mispronunciations. Uh, but I enjoy making these videos for you. Thank you for watching these videos and I'll see you in the next video.